Say hey, what's up, I'm here in my kitchen right now. I'm about to show you guys the new Oxbeam X-Pro 3 Series uh, light pods. But yes, before you say anything and bash me, yes, I have these as my light pods. Now, you're gonna need a kit to convert them into your fog lights for your Toyota Tacoma. I'll show you what is in here. This is the way they normally come. Of course, if you're gonna mount them as pod lights, uh, these do not come with uh, brackets. So I ordered my brackets, uh, FYI, from uh, uh, Cali Ray's LED. So uh, those, those have been on for a while. But uh, in order for you to convert the pop light into your fog light um, and it fit OEM style, there is this piece, the bezel, that you're going to need to remove. And you will be replacing it with this guy here. So obviously, uh, you're going to have to find the way it fits in. Luckily, on my truck, I already have my Viper cut. And uh, I don't have to worry about removing, uh, say, the front grill or the bumper for some people, the side uh, little plastic panel underneath the uh, fender flare, driver's side and passenger side. So this looks pretty easy. It looks like uh, probably just use like a on wrench set or whatever and uh, get these off. That way you can get the bezel off, like I said. Uh, so I did remove it with uh, an Allen wrench. Uh, these four little screws. I'm just propping it up here so I could kind of use it because I'm holding my phone right now, I'm recording with my phone. So it doesn't go like this. All right, it goes that way. Boom. And it's your choice how you want them. Remember, it does have a thicker lip here, I guess. You know, that way it fits into your uh, OEM housing on your bumper. Flush. So this is what she looks like right now. Focus. Right there. Um, there is a bit of a gap. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. A little one, a little one, somewhere. I saw a light, but that's all gonna be behind the bumper. There it is, it's right there. Um, the only thing that's gonna be exposed is this bezel and the light, right? It's gonna be coming out. And of course, you're gonna have to figure out, well, I'm gonna have to figure out as well, um, what side the driver's side is on and the passenger side, because uh, they're shaped this way for a reason. All right, excuse my mess in my garage. I, it's winter time. I cut lumber in here. Um, anyways, there it is. I know you guys saw it earlier this morning. It did not have the brackets on. I added the brackets uh, a few hours ago before I took my little nap. Um, gonna go ahead and install them. That's the way they look now. That is OEM there. So just to show you guys real quick. Uh, these are my pod lights, right? That I got, that I just installed, what, like two months ago or so. These guys here do come with an extension to have these stand up more. I am gonna angle these out and down. So uh, I have uh, LED, amber, LED, and ember now. I was never a really big fan of amber, amber light, right? The color, right? It started growing on me, but there is, uh, there is a reason for it. So whenever you're driving and you're off-roading, uh, if you've ever been in the snow and you, uh, you're looking out your, your windshield as you're driving down and it's so hard to see uh, because the white of the LED or the halogens that you have in your car or your truck, they, they make the white uh, off the snow or the rain bounce off, the, the light bounce off a little bit different so it actually blinds you more. Now, if you turn your LEDs off and just run your your embers, your ember cuts through all of that. For the people that don't have the Viper cut and all the stuff that I've already done to my truck, you will be needing to remove your uh, bumper or your uh, front grill to get into this. And you will be, re be needing to remove this guy here, that guy there, and then all that. I cut all this out for ground clearance, 
when I did my lift and my um, caster got pushed up front because of my upper control arms. So my access point is easy. Look at that. I could just, I could reach and touch my fog light from here. So it will go directly, plug and play. Let me show you the driver's side. It's the exact same thing. So this shouldn't be very uh, hard to do. From what I heard, the only thing that's a little bit tough is learning, to checking to see which side is for which side because they're not uh, universal. There is one for the driver and one for the passenger side, the way it sits. That's why the lip there is a little bit longer on one side. All right, let's go. Fog lights out already. So this is your, uh, your OEM third gen fog light housing and uh, how it is. I do have uh, aftermarket LEDs in there. So I just got to figure out if this is the driver or the passenger. So I've got one installed already. I actually did make a mistake in putting the brackets on wrong. So uh, luckily for me, like I said, I already did my Viper cut. So I'm able to kind of be under there and mess with it. Uh, if you don't put them on right the first time and you don't have all this already removed, you will be struggling trying to get these uh, adjusted. And for some reason, I just don't trust the one screw that holds it in place. I really don't trust that screw, right? Right there, you see that? I mean, it's in there, but one screw, oh, I might have to do something else just to, uh, so the bracket has another hole down here and I'm thinking about drilling into that plastic housing here. Just to reinforce it, man. Do you want to make sure you're running everything the right way and you connect everything before you lay down and retighten everything and run your wire uh, just to check. So yeah, check it out. It's already on. Pretty fucking dope, man. I got one side on. I gotta just repeat the next side. Dude, they look fucking sick. Excuse the mess, but check this out. Fog lights on. Sick, bro. Nice. And that's how it looks from the front. The bottom are solid ember now. That's pretty cool, man. I had trouble with the driver's side adjusting the bracket. That's it. Other than that, uh, if it's pretty flush, plug and play, connect it into my Oxbeam e King switch panel, and it all powered up. What I did to keep the clip, uh, the OEM housing from getting wet, I just went ahead and cut off an old uh, LED that I had for my fog lights. They were cheap, so I used the housing for it. And I plugged it back in and I just taped it around and then, uh, see that? Nice. Clean. Not too much of a pain. Only adjusting that bracket was a little bit tough. But, uh, like I said, other than that, it's pretty much easy. Uh, plug and play. Uh, shout out to Oxbeam for, uh, the fog lights. And, um, can't wait to use them off-road.